Hey everyone, it's Michael Beresford here from Oakland Corp with a really quick snapshot on probably the hottest topic in investing circles at the moment, which is the APRA changes and specifically what that means for finance for investors. Uh, what are the APRA changes? Well, uh, taking a step back, APRA are the regulatory body that basically govern all of the lending behaviour in Australia and the way that the banks operate. Uh, they've imposed restrictions on the banks which means that it's harder to get money for investment today than what it's been in the past. Uh, how they're doing this is basically requiring more income to be able to service the same amount of debt and they're adding significant buffers on top of your existing debt. What does this mean for you? Well, it basically means that you're gonna to have to be more persistent to be able to get finance for investment. There are still banks out there that have an appetite for it, so don't fear. Just need to spend a bit more effort, show a bit more persistence, and maybe explore some of the lenders out there that you might not necessarily have thought of uh, to be able to get money today, okay? The best way to get around it, however, if you've been stuck with this hurdle and you're frustrated about not being able to move forward, Seek Out The Service is a really good investment focused broker. So most brokers are great at setting up your home loan, but uh, you know, there are only about two million Australians out there that actually have investment property, and uh, about 16,000 odd that actually have six or more in their portfolio. So um, most of those investors are gonna be working with a small subset of expert brokers that understand the right kind of structures. Find one of those guys out. If you need an introduction, let us know. Uh, but they're going to be your best resource in helping you navigate that lending market to be able to find a bank that will give you the borrowing capacity to be able to, be able to add to your portfolio as soon as possible. We'll see you next time.